Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Vijay and I'm a Microsoft MVP in SharePoint. In today's video, we are going to discuss about how we can work with SharePoint online quick links web part in modern SharePoint. We will see here how why we use this quick links web part and then also I'll show you how we can customize it so that it will display you will see a different look and feel in the uh, particular site page and also I will show you how we can display items from a SharePoint online list if you want and then I will show you another important feature which is audience targeting that we'll see how it works in the particular web part so without further delay what I'll do is I'll open my SharePoint site you can see here this is a SharePoint site and in this first thing is I will do is I'll create a page here so I'll from the home page I'll just create a blank page so in this I'll give the title for it I'll say quick links uh, web part demo and uh, simply I will publish it so when you will publish it it will give the URL and then now uh, we will edit it so once we edit it this is the default web part I'll just delete it make uh, we will make this section as a two section layout or we will make it to one third so that thing we have made it so in the left section I will click over here and then if you search for it you can see is the quick links web part now when I when I add this web part you can see here first thing it is showing is add a link web part and then you can see here it is showing some icon some great uh, gray text and uh, so you can visualize now how exactly things will appear on this so basically if you want to display some links in your home page or somewhere where you can click and then go uh, to a particular page or different page or different item then we can use this quick link uh, um, web part in a SharePoint modern SharePoint site so what we will do now here is I will click on add link so you can see here add link when you will add it will show you the popular dialog box here you will see here you can add from recent items you can add from stock images you can um, add items from OneDrive or from this particular site if you have a document library or site asset library site pages from those pages also you will be able to add it and then you can also upload a document directly from here that is also we can do and then we can also add links directly from it so i'll not go for this one now what i'll do here is uh, probably i'll go to site and then um, you can see here if you'll go to documents i'll have do some documents created here so for example you can see here about us is there or location is there you can see contact us is there policy is there profile is there i'll add this item so you can see here now so I have added it and these five links it is coming like this so if I will simply now publish it and then you can see here this is how it is appearing you can click on this and it will go to that particular page you can see here it is opening on the same tab if you want to open uh, any new tab then probably you can just right click and open it now click on edit and then we will customize this web part now so I'll select it click on this edit web part icon and then here first of all you will see layout so there are different layouts are there by default layouts which will be very um, the look and look and feel is very good on this if you'll see I will uh, select this one film strip then you can see this is coming like this uh, you can also click on next previous and it will appear like this and then uh, there is grid so you can see here this is a grid layout how it is coming um, and then buttons this is one of my favorite option you can see here this look is how this looks looks is appearing if you want simple list look then you can come you can select this list option and it will come like this files option you can see this is another option which you can use i'll just publish it you can see this is how the tiles view it is coming now click on edit and then uh, edit this icon again and then when you are uh, clicking on uh, you know tiles view you have some options are there if you want small size icon medium size large size extra large size full space so those things also you can select it um, you want to show only icon or image you can uh, enable or disable that things so you can see if i'll disable it you can see uh, both text and the icon is coming so if you want only icon then you can select this option 
say me i'll just keep this button layout and i wanted to show you few other things on this when you will choose button layout you can see here if you want to show the description you can enable it icons on the left icons you can select this if you, if you want icon on top you can see this is how it is appearing uh, button outline you can see here uh, center left um, you know that thing you can do text area text title text uh, one line or two line you can give that thing also so this is this way you can also do little bit of uh, customization or you can change the layout option on this i'll just republish it so this is how you can add it i will show you one more thing on this um, i just want to edit it uh, there is one more option which is known as the audience targeting so if you'll see here i can go edit this web part you can see here this last option is filter if i will select audience targeting on so i'll just republish it nothing will happen now because we have not set that audience targeting so audience targeting is basically when you want to display some items to a group of people and some other items to another set of people if that is the case then you can use that audience targeting feature so for this what i have done is i have gone to my outlook i have created two groups on this so if you can see here if you'll scroll down um i'll just show you groups so you can see i have one group which is saying my, my audience group it has two members you can see on this myself and user two and then i have one more which is my new audience group which has having three members which is having uh, myself and rosalind and sonam are there so three people are there so what i will do now is I will go to this our uh, quick click web part. So I'll just edit this page. What I want is let's say I want two items should appear to particular group and three items to another group. So in this case, what I'll do here is I will click on edit. So in this case, what I want is let's say contact us icon. I'll click on edit this. So when you will click on edit, now if you'll see here we can customize this particular item so you can have some uh, you can set a custom image you can set an icon so if you'll see here by default this is an excel document and that's the icon region excel icon is coming if you want you can also set uh, you know different icons so i'll i can click on change and i can give a icon here i can i can select this lot of icons are there you can see now contact us will appear like this but next is uh, the the main thing that we are going to discuss here is uh, let me just resize a little bit on this. Um, so if you'll see here, I will just resize a little bit on this uh, browser. So I want to show this filter option. No, so what I want now is for this contact us um, item, I want only to one group should be visible i will select here my or new audience group and uh, same way for location i will say the audience group here is my new audience group and then powerpoint presentation i'll select this i will here select audience um, i will select my audience group you can see here so i'll publish it now what will happen is you can see here so um i'll i have logged in in another browser you can see here this is another browser and i have logged in with user 2 so i will go to the pages i'll open that page which we have created now and set up everything so in this page if you'll see here those two items are not visible which are set we have set it for the new group so if you'll see here now look at this contact us and location we have set this one for a new audience group where the members are not user to you can see here user to is not a member of that one that's the reason when i logged in with user to i cannot see that items only other items i'll be able to see it here the last thing that i wanted to show you is a lot of time people usually ask how we can um, we can display list items so that is little tricky that you can able to do it so what i'll do here is let let me delete it and i will add the quick links to a part once again so you can see here i have added it so here is a list you can see here this is a list that uh, you know i have added now if i will simply go here add list and then from link i'll give this url then what will happen is 
um, you can see here only all items is appearing and if I'll publish it so that means if I'll click on this this list will open so that is not that is not solving our purpose in this case so what we can do in in particularly for this thing is uh, so I will delete this item you can see here so what we can do is we can individually add the item so I'll click on this and you can see here copy link I'll just copy this particular link I will go here I'll click on add link then from a particular link I'll put this link here and then click on add so if you'll see here now it is opening the display form so you select there is a title on this so probably what you can do is you can write here SharePoint and if you want to give a change this icon so you can change it so I can select it and I will change this icon same way suppose we want other items so I will just close it I'll go to Java so I'll select this I'll copy this link I will go here I will add one more link and go to from link I'll put it here and then in this case also if you'll see here I will put Java and then I can also change any icon on this so I can select this icon now I'll publish this item and you can see here two items are there and you click on this then it will open that particular item so this way you can display items from a particular list so if you want similar kind of videos subscribe to our youtube channel you will get a lot of free videos on sharepoint office 365 things also you can check out my previous videos which are on how to use sharepoint online comment library web part list web part um, our call to action web pack so i'll put those links in the video description you can have a look at it so thank you and have a nice day